The number one reason why people don't like to use the Thunderbox is because once they open it, it's disgusting. And that's why yours truly is gonna show you how to clean a Thunderbox. There comes a time in everyone's life where they end up going camping. Then there comes a time in everyone's life when they go backcountry camping in Ontario and they are exposed to what is called the Thunderbox. Now the Thunderbox in general is a toilet made of wood and inside is human excrement. The number one reason why people don't like to use the Thunderbox is because once they open it, it's disgusting. And that's why yours truly is gonna show you how to clean a Thunderbox. It's important to do a pre-inspection just to know what you're getting into even before you open the Thunderbox. For instance, on this one here, heavy rotting. There's extreme heavy rotting right there. It could be a uh, injury waiting to happen, so we wanna be careful. You can see there's a nail right there. The last thing you wanna do is get a nail, you know, somewhere that you don't want. Chain is rusty, but looks like it's in good sight. But the bottom section, the bottom section, which uh, holds the gold, seems to be relatively good for the high use area that we're in here in Killarney Provincial Park. One broom, one poker. Never touch the lid, particularly one in this bad of condition. Oh my God. It's also wet and heavy. I might have used two hands to open up this beast. Oh, but the platform isn't bad. Next, you get your broom. Right? <laughs> this is a lot of cobwebs and spiders. <laughs> pretty good. You can blow on it if you want. Oh, it reeks. <laughs> then the rim, the rim clean. <laughs> Don't go in. Don't go in. I'll... Particularly something like this to get the, the to get underneath. Do you think that sometimes you're actually waking everything up and then it's no. actually worse? There we are. Once open and clean, the human being simply rests their buttocks around the hole, pushing with their abdominal muscles to expel the goods, and all the wonderful gold goes in the hole. Feel free to enjoy the view while in use. Once you're done, there's a couple of secrets that I need to tell you about. One is don't pull your pants up right away. Instead, stand up on the rocks that are at the bottom, right so, and brush off anything that is stuck to your butt because there's usually little like pine needles and things like that. And if you don't brush your butt off um, and you pull your pants up, those pine needles will lodge into your butt. Secret number two is do not be scared to sit and commit to the hole. The number two reason why people don't like to use a Thunderbox is because they think there's rattlesnakes and tarantulas inside. I assure you there is not. There is nothing inside and once you give it a good cleaning, it is safe for fecal use. And the number three secret to the Thunderbox, close it like so. And anytime you hear the thud of a thunderbox, you are to cheer. So whether you're in an adjacent campsite or your own campsite, give it a round of applause for the person who was brave enough to sit on that throne. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's informative video. If you want more informative videos about backcountry toilets, please subscribe, leave a comment, and like my video.